The new OWC Thunderbolt dock. We finally get more USB-C ports without the confusion. It's $249 and is available at OWC.com. Link in the description, both for Mac and PC. Today we're showing it with a new M1 MacBook Pro and Mac Mini from Apple, which only have two USB-C ports. And many of us know that it's not common to find a dock that expands that, only to other types of ports. This also applies to the M1 MacBook Air, since it also has two ports. I'll be showing you specs, my setup as an example, why I needed it, and how it can possibly work for you. Give this a like if it helps, and subscribe for more. Let's open it. This has three Thunderbolt 4 ports on what I call the back and one on the front for charging your laptop. This leaves it open to three extra ports. And since the dock charges my laptop, I can move my actual charger in a different room to use. You also get one gigabit ethernet port, three USB-A ports on one side, up to 10 gigabits per second, as well as a USB 2 port on the back for things like a wired keyboard, mouse, charging your phone, and older external devices a DC in port to plug in the dock, so you do have to plug it into a power outlet, which makes this ideal for a more stationary solution. The front has a spot for 3.5mm audio, as well as an SD card reader for transferring photos and videos from your camera. According to OWC, this works for both Thunderbolt 4 PCs and Macs with M1, or Intel chip Macs that have Thunderbolt 3 ports. For Mac, you'll need to update to macOS 11.1 Big Sur, Again, you'll also need to plug it in to get all that power. If you're new to USB-C, let me save you the hassle. Instead of going to Best Buy and Apple, just to find out most of the USB-C hubs out there don't have more than one USB-C port, and if it does, it's either not the right type, even though it looks the same, or it doesn't connect to as many peripherals, this dock makes it seem less like a puzzle. Here's why. It's all about that Thunderbolt 4 support and USB 4 compatibility. It makes it the dock of both today and the future, simply because it allows for more peripherals of different kinds to connect, more compatibility between PC and Mac devices, and most importantly in this case, allows for four USB ports in one hub. Like its predecessor, Thunderbolt 3, it eliminates even more confusion about so many types of USB-C ports out there by universally supporting all of it. Yes, it's backwards compatible to any type of USB-C. Basically, if it looks like this, you can plug it into this dock. It supports speeds of up to 40 gigabytes per second. For example, while we're waiting for everyone to convert to Thunderbolt 4, you can still connect your Thunderbolt 3 cord to get that speed. Or your older USB-C 3.1 Gen 1 and Gen 2, for example, even though they're not as fast. So if you're like most people and you don't even know what those are, it doesn't even matter anymore if you're worried about compatibility. Plus, now we can use a longer 2 meter cable for those who need it, sold separately. So in summary, more peripherals and backwards compatibility is now supported. I like how OWC points out to basically look at it this way. You can now have your device deliver the same performance and compatibility as if it's plugged in directly into your computer. Check out my setup. So far on my desk, I needed to do basic editing as a YouTuber and graphic design, as well as everyday tasks like checking mail, notes, and web browsing. So I mainly needed one port to charge my laptop, a second port for my monitor, and another for external hard drives and SSDs. It was also important to have an SD card slot to transfer photos and videos from my camera. It worked for all of that. The only possible confusion left is if you need a daisy chain with old devices, but even that's improved. Like how I use an adapter to work with my old Apple monitor from 2010. 
still a piece of heaven by the way. The improvement is you can now connect up to three separate devices without those devices affecting each other. This can avoid abrupt link disconnections, for example. That's pretty awesome. Of course, with your support growing this channel, I can provide more examples with more devices. This supports up to two 4K displays or one 5K, 6K, or 8K display. MacBook Pro doesn't have native support for two displays, so I was hoping this was capable of making that happen, which I heard is possible with the right dock. Unfortunately, no, it's not this one. Since the M1 Mac Mini already has an HDMI port, you don't need a dock to support two displays. All the other ports here were bonus convenience for me since I still have USB-A devices. And when I don't want to worry about Wi-Fi, I can use the Ethernet port. So now I'm pretty happy and ready to make things happen. Side note, if you don't need all these ports and you only want that USB-C extension, there's also a smaller version. Now we can feel safer ejecting external drives because of this software. It protects against data loss when ejecting by ensuring all data is written before disconnection. Let's see if we can really get the same transfer speeds. I tested this with my T7 external SSD from Samsung to transfer this slightly large file. The computer is picking it up, saying that it will transfer at the same speed. And it proved to be true, transferring this both with and without the dock. It's actually interesting because the dock was a little bit faster at 20 something seconds. I mean, I don't know why, but this test here without the dock, it's 28 seconds longer. So without the dock, seven minutes and 32 seconds. And with the dock, it took seven minutes and four seconds. I also did the same transfer, plugging the hard drive into the USB 3.2 port. And even though my computer said it would transfer the same speed, it actually took twice as long. And lastly, I love how it's all in one and has a long enough cord so you can move it away because I like my space as clean as possible. And this lets me achieve that by putting it under or beside my desk. In conclusion, this is the best pro-like solution I've seen so far and is even recommended by the best Apple support staff I've ever got a hold of that actually was a professional editor. I've linked it below as well as the previous generation if you don't care about future proofing and you save $20. I don't get credit, it's fine. I hope this helped introduce you to this doc. For even more specs and details, I've also provided their website in the description. Feel free to share your experience with docs and struggles with USB-C as I'm sure many of us can relate. Give this a like if it helps and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.